What is up, guys? Panda Gamer 2308 here today. I'm just going to be doing a review on the Gamerverse Avengers Marvel Legends Iron Man action figure. As you can see, for the box, so I've got Build a Figure, and he does come with an Abomination leg. For the Build a Figure, I do have that coming in the mail, so I will do a review on it. On the side, you got the game, all the people in the game, or most people in the game, I guess. I'm not really, I don't really know too much about the game, but yeah, there they are. Got a nice look at the Iron Man. I do have Captain America. Uh, tell me if you want me to do a review on him. But on the back, uh, if you want to read any of this stuff, just uh, pause the video. If I could actually get it to look up there, you know. Let's see. If you want to read any of that, just pause the video right now. All right. Um, but besides, yeah, we have uh, we have the people on the back. We have Captain America. Which does not come with the build a figure piece, so it's just an extra figure to this line. Uh, Iron Man, Miss Marvel, uh, uh, let's see, Marvel, Marvel, something like that. And then we have the rest of the figures, but um, here's the Abomination build figure. I cannot wait for that build figure. Sorry about that, guys. I am so excited. But um, yeah, there's uh, some pretty cool art of Iron Man. Bottom, blah, blah, blah. Other side, same thing. Top, you have the Avengers logo. But yeah, let's, uh, oh, Hasbro right there. Yeah, let's get this figure out of the box. All right, guys, here's the figure out of the box. Looking amazing. I love this purchase. Um, thanks to my brother, he actually got this for me at GameStop. And I cannot love this figure more. So yeah, let's get to the articulation. All right, guys, now for the articulation. Um, but before I get to that, I'm just going to say uh, sorry if you hear something in the background. It's actually a 3D printer doing something. But, uh, yeah, uh, let's get to it. So he could uh, he has a pencil neck, so he can't really look up. He can't uh, let's see. Okay, he can actually look up pretty good. There he is. Looking down, he could look down really good. And now these are just thing. This is just the one thing I don't like about this figure is which uh, his shoulder pads are definitely in the way of bringing his arms up. So what I do is put his arms out and then go like that. So you have a better. Uh, so you can put the arms up higher. But um, yeah, I love this figure. But that's the only thing. Yeah, uh, here his arms go out this far. There. Oh, one thing I love about this figure uh, is his repulsor hand. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Um, look how good this moves, bro. You know how they're usually just stuck like this? Well, this one moves, and I love this one. Uh, same with the other hand. I'll show that in the accessories. But, um, yeah, we have ab crunch right here. You go up that high, but there's he. His, uh, right there, up that high. And we have a little cool design right there. See that? Uh, we have. Uh, I forget what that's called. It's the main thing of Iron Man. I forget what it's called. Sorry about that. Uh, his legs go out this far. No butterfly joints either. No, right here. Double jointed elbows. Nice. Uh,. Got some double jointed knees, good for flying. Like, if you want to put them like this, you can be flying like that. So, that's good. Something. It's like you got this far. And you could twist right here. You could go all the way around. Whatever, yeah. Forgot to mention this head could go all the way around too. And, um, here is that. And then it's really easy just like to pop back on. All you gotta do is that. Uh, he could almost do a split, so that's how far his legs could go out. And I'm glad he could do uh, some kicks, because usually with the Iron Man figures, Marvel Legends, as you say, uh, not the best at kicking with Iron Man figures. But I really wish they fixed the shoulder pad uh, issue, but um, yeah, here we go. So that's great too. Here's the back of him. And yeah, let's get to the paint. All right guys, now for the paint of this figure. Um, I'm just gonna go to his uh, head, to his toe. So first off, 
we have um let's see can you can you guys see that there we go a little bit better all right uh there we have his gold mask awesome um he does have the little nose thing on his mask and he does have a tiny little scratch but that won't happen to yours unless if it like comes like that but mine came like that i don't really have a problem with it i've read some most of the colors <clears throat> are red silver and gold all right so i'll let you take a nice look at that nice and we have his like baby blue it's kind of baby blue and silver in there if you can see that and really like shiny shiny silver you guys can see that and up here we got some more like gray slash silver some gold right there a lot of shiny stuff in here so that's pretty cool do have his blue eyes see that <clears throat> and now down to his like legs area, uh, area got some gold red some darker red on his knees if you guys can see that hold focus all right got a little paint scratch right there if you can see that doesn't really bother me though uh with his hand now we got some really, really, uh, I'm glad they painted this. Pretty sure they painted that it's silver now. Side, blah, blah, blah. Great, de great detail on this figure. Sorry about that. Yeah, but great de detail. Oof. Um, definitely recommend buying this. Let's see if we, yeah, there it is. This is back. Iron Man butt. Got the iron butt there and he does have holes on the bottom of his feet so you could put him in a stand the side view and yeah let's get to uh accessories all right guys now for his accessories we have his two blast effects and four hands he comes with he has two repulsor hands or blast hands whatever you want to call them and two fisted hands so right here uh here is his repulsor hand which looks awesome guys they did a great job on that Let's see if we get a better focus on it they would but yeah try to zoom in looks awesome guys now we have his fist hand get his fist hand sorry about that man down all right fist hand cool and now we have his two blast effects what you just pop in either his feet or um his hand whatever you want to do i'll show you both so out the peg right here all you got to do is just uh pop it in there boom one i right, get the other one two easy done just like that all right there they are like he's flying or you could get um both of them into the repulsor hand i'm just gonna do one yeah uh now let's get to size comparison all right guys so for a size comparison we have a dc essentials i'm pretty sure pretty sure that's what it's called right there we have a flash dc essentials and pretty sure this is a Mortal Kombat. Yeah, I know it's a Mortal Kombat, but I'm pretty sure it's a McFarlane. So there we go. That's what they look like. Then you have a Marvel Legends Deadpool over here. I might as well Let's just put him near there. Let me remove the spawn. Replace with Deadpool. So you got a Marvel Legends and a DC Essential. Um, he actually fits really well with the Marvel Legends because, of course, he is one. But um, if you want to put him with a DC for some reason, uh, I could see somebody doing that. But, um, yeah, looks pretty good with size. Then we have a Mezco Netflix Punisher. This is a great figure. Um, there he is next to the Mezco Punisher. Sorry about that. There it is. Um, Mezco is about the, a little bit shorter. So, uh, yeah, I say that's a good size because a regular person, like the Punisher against uh, a suit, Pretty bulky suit, so yeah. 
And also, we have him next to Captain America Endgame, the worthy Captain America. I just don't have his hammer or his shield in. But yeah, that looks actually really good. Sorry about that. Let me move him a little bit over here. That looks really good. And uh, last but not least, we have him next to a Marvel Select. Pretty sure his name is Destroyer. I'm not 100% sure. But there he is next to him. Um, there's a big difference in this, uh, like how you see. Destroyer, or I think that's his name, I'm not sure. But that's all I'm going to call him. There they are. But yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you turn the bell on if you want more action figure videos or maybe gaming videos. I do those sometimes. Kind of stopped. But yeah, if you want them, don't forget to like and subscribe. And turn that bell on. And see you in my next video.